Hello again, happy weekend. We're starting with a big one this week on Racine. It is Challenge Parker. Why are you wearing the hat? It's, uh, it's Christmas, Ben. We've just had the, uh, the annual Christmas lunch, and I've been joined by someone who uh, certainly enjoyed himself as well. A familiar Hello! Hey! Carlo! What was for lunch? Hello, Carlo. Uh, what was for lunch? Fantastic lunch, but we ate far too much. Uh, red wine? Of course. A red wine, bit. a bit of champagne, you know, a bit of everything. Players too? Um, well, player, we had our nutritionist today with us that he was looking after the players and make sure they, you know, they didn't get too much. What about you, Carlo, at Christmas? When you're a coach now, you don't necessarily have to watch your diet. Do you pig out a Christmas job, plenty of pigs the and blankets? First, the first big difference is today. Because <laughs> I could eat everything <laughs> and not only once, twice, go for the third one. So, uh, in fact, I think the dessert uh, table was the first one that I actually attacked. Um, <laughs> obviously, when I was a player, that you know wouldn't be the case. Right, we'll let you get back to the party and enjoy the trivial pursuit, and don't ride that motorbike home. <laughs> not, not with that hat on. Anyway. It's too cold right. for the motorbike now. But guys, let me take this opportunity to, to wish you uh, and, and your families uh, obviously uh, Merry Christmas, and also to our fantastic supporters. You know, have a wonderful Christmas. Same to you, Carlo. We'll Top see man. You Saturday. Happy Cheers, Christmas. Carlo. Bye, guys. The great, the legend. Cheers, Lee. Happy well done, Lee. Guys. Challenge passed, Carlo Cudicini. OK, Huddersfield, so easy, it was almost boring, but Eden Hazard was awesome again. He He's was, the standout moment. He was awesome, but it was the tactics that he went into it, switching play, but Hazard, when he does these little flicks, they came off Pedro, William, I mean, normally it's Morata. He lets the ball run on that occasion. Um, it's his awareness, Ben, as well, and, and the presence of mind, when to do it, when not to do it, but he finds his target, set up a goal here, William puts it in for Bakayoko. We're not quite sure whose goal it is. Um, but yeah, when Hazard's in that sort of form, he must be dreadful to play against because you don't know which way he's going to go. You don't know where it's going to go. And it it always seems to work. It almost never doesn't come off. Um, anyway, he was very modest about it afterwards, as usual. William did a job, Pedro did a job, and me, like always, you know. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 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 it's a, it's a great, great game for, for all of us. After matches, uh, we always like to give you a bit of unseen extra, a few behind-the-scenes moments. Uh, here are some from the week. A couple of Danish mates there. Zanka, two of his mates, and Andreas Christensen. Matthias Jorgensen is the actual name. This is Danny Drinkwater, Jason. Afterwards, he thinks this is a photo. Yes, I saw that, um, but he's actually filming. And this is brilliant from Gary. The guy wants him to sign his shirt. He doesn't have a pen, so he walks off towards the bus, finds a pen. I'll come back and sign it for you. Proper skipper. Good work. Well done, you. From Huddersfield to Catalonia, at least the Blues will be. It's Barcelona again, Jason. Yeah. And that period is bonkers. There's Man United, there's Man City in between the two legs. There might even be a League Cup final against Man United or Man City. Mm. Madness. It is madness, but listen, that's what we want. You know, we complained last year we had no Champions League football. I'm not going to complain. We got Barca, it's the last 16. If we won the group, maybe it would have been slightly different. They won't want to face us, by the way. 13th, this will be the 13th and 14th game. In the 12 previously, we've won four, they've won three. So. Don't listen to all the, the hype about the game that Barcelona are going to come in and destroy us. They won't want to be facing us either. And in Roman times, the record is even better still. Just two wins and one of them didn't even matter. Now, speaking of the Champions League, after beating Barcelona in the last 16 in that wonderful 0-4-0-5 season, the Blues went on to play Bayern Munich. And at the annual lunch recently, Joe Cole had this story from that time. I remember, like Frank saying, it was a bit of a higgledy-piggledy stadium. So we, we sort of got lost on the way to the pitch and, uh, and we was late and, it, and him and Oliver Kahn were obviously angry. So I've turned around the corner. I, th I was first for some reason and I see him and Kahn just looking furious. So I just started stretching my hamstrings waiting for Didier and JT to come back. And I thought, well, this ain't one for me. So um, Joey the, the pair of them, were like, they've gone head to head and Joey. I was like the ones that, yeah giving it at the back, like, yeah, we'll have you. Yeah, so um, that set the tone for the game, actually. It was quite a feisty game. Now, until Monday on Chelsea TV and on the website, we're free. So little snippets like that are all yours. Loads of interesting features we've been putting out, and you can see them, ones like this. Andreas has always been uh, one of the top players in the academy. Beautifully timed challenge again from Andreas Christensen. 
And my first impressions was this this lad can be a player. He's a Chelsea player through and through. I'm laid back, I'm, I'm not aggressive as a person. He's a great kid, he's got a great attitude. Has he got the experience? Yes. Has he played against some of the best strikers in the world? Yes, he has. I try always to be competitive and yeah, even in sometimes in funny games, I, you know, I, don't, I, I hate uh, the fact of losing. On a day-to-day -day basis, if he's in your team, whether that be in a possession or a small-sided game or a head tennis tournament, whatever, he is a hundred percent. Sometimes in training we are, we do, we are, you know, against. But you know, it's better to to be together because he's a good, he's a good defender and he's hard to to pass. And everything I like to to win is part of myself and even in training, every exercise I want to win is uh, the way I am and I am I really enjoy that. That night I uh, flew to um, Palma, um, met the, uh, the president that evening, uh, thrashed out a deal. Uh, the next morning I met uh, Zola and his representative. We had four hours of talks and he was obviously, for the sake of his family, he was a little bit concerned about uh, up in sticks and uh, moving to England. But by uh, late in the afternoon, he signed the deal before Tottenham ever got out of the starting blocks. I've got 11 moments. Why? Because my shot is number 11, it's my favourite number. So I've got 11 moments for, for Chelsea. And uh, so the number 11 is uh, my first goal for Chelsea Football Club against Crystal Palace. Cross from Barbaro and a header and I was so happy to score my first goal for the club and I didn't know at that time that it was going to be a, a great story between me and the club. But uh, it was a nice way to start the season for me and uh, to open my, my goals account with Chelsea. OK, now it's time for a bit of good stuff, bad stuff and some fun stuff. Have a look at this. This is Missy Ratswai at Huddersfield. Lovely first touch. This is even better. Have some of that. Gary Cahill. Beautiful, beautiful. And this from Kennedy. Now you see it, now you don't. That is brilliant. Yeah, that, I'll pull my uh, hamstring, cruciate <laughs> yeah. and Achilles all in one <laughs> if I did something like that. <laughs> that would definitely happen. This, however, is Mark Gurhey from the cracking 4-4 four -four with Tottenham. That is one when of the... I first saw it, I thought, Frank <laughs> what a brilliant goal. Frank Sinclair would love it. Uh, Frank Sinclair's That's a bit back. Harsh. And playing for Chelsea's youth team, Mark Gurhey scored some very important goals for club and country this season, but that was in his own net. In the same match, a real ding-dong of a 4-4. Deshaun Redan oh, scored here. Oh, dear. Yeah, keeper he slips, crucially, mm. at the worst possible Nice time. finish, though. Take advantage of that. Yep. Well done, Deshaun Redan. He's uh, up to half a dozen goals. Now for the youth team, he's only 16, getting a start in the number nine shirt. Don't forget, their home game's always live on Chelsea TV. Now that brings us, uh, speaking of centre-forwards, to uh, the hot water bottle. Yeah, so much was made of this. Mm. It's cold. Players should be keeping warm. Those seats over there that you see in the dugout, they're heated. Right? The players sit in there, the hamstrings want to be warm, you want to keep warm. It's freezing. So what? It's got a hot water bottle. It's cold. When it's cold, Ben, you want to keep warm. It's time for Game of Loans. Game of Loans. What's happened to the goals, loanies? Mm. Normally we have a great string of them. Last week was a bit quiet. This week, very quiet, but one very big important goal, certainly in the Russian capital. Mario Pasalic, well done him. The big derby in Moscow is Spartak mm. versus Seska, and he scored for Spartak, well so done. well done him. That's it. Trivia time. Last week's question posed by Pat Nevin surrounded the Ballon d'Or because it was in the news. He asked, when was the last time there was any English representation getting the top honours there? The answer was... Frank Lampard. Super Frank Lampard in 2005 and actually Frank second behind Ronaldinho in first. So it's far too long basically. Bore off Messi yeah. and Ronaldo. Let's move <laughs> on, shall we? Well done Noah, Rodney and Dijkal. Correct answers. This week's question, Jason. Yeah, we got some uh, some footage here of the warm up against Huddersfield. The question is, how many touches does each player have here? We made it a little bit harder for you, but try and count the heads, try and count the touches, and we read out as many correct answers as we possibly can next week. So Southampton this weekend. Yeah, um, I've seen them play really well. They played really poorly against Leicester midweek. Got thumped four. One, I've seen them play really well, got a decent point, could have won and won it against Arsenal. Never quite sure what you're going to get 
with Southampton. But as I always say, Ben, if we bring our A game uh, here the weekend, then we'll, we will win. Charlie Austin's in a nice little bit of form after watching. Nine clean sheets in 26. Might be nice to get another one of them yeah. for Chelsea. That's in all competitions this term. If you fancy a bet, our betting partner William Hill has this going this week. Chelsea to win the match and there'll be three or more goals in it. I reckon your money's probably pretty safe. That is it. The Saints are coming marching to the bridge. Bye-bye. <laughs>